Hello, it's like me and Renee, and I'm going to show you guys how I install my passion twist. What you're going to need to install your passion twist is hair. I use five packs, you can use more or less, it depends on how big or small you want your passion twist to be. Gel, you call styling gel. Some type of moisturizer for your hair, my DIY whip shea butter. Some hair mousse and also hairspray. And if you want your edges laid a little bit, I use what is this? Edge boost. What I use was can you see it? Was the African collection and it's the Bohemian 24 inch. And I use five packs of this hair. It took me about four hours to do my hair. So the hair comes in the pack and they already separated. So I only use one piece of hair for each twist. Excuse me if I sound funny. I went to the orthodontist and I'm having some dental work done. So I have some device in my mouth and I don't know if you can see it. It's making me talk funny. Let me take one or two out and show you guys how I installed my passion twist. So you can see how you can uninstall the hair as well. So first thing I use to hydrate my hair, make sure it's moisturized, is my DIY whip shea butter. So of course I start on freshly shampooed conditioned hair. So I add the shea butter. Make sure it's combed all the way through. Grab a piece. Like I said, it's already, it comes in a pack already like section off. So I separate the hair starting at the bottom. at the bottom and then separate it at the top so it could be nice and smooth so I won't get knotted. So then I take the hair to make it a little longer I lay it over top of each other. Well, one of the pieces of hair longer than the other. So this is where one stop this is where the other one is. Then I grab my favorite gel in the world, Eco Styler Gel. Put some on my roots, all the way around, not too much. Grab the piece of hair, and I start my passion twist off with a braid. This hair is too silky for me. To twist at the root and twist all the way at the end, it kept sliding off. Oh, come on. Plus, I don't mind my hair starting off with a braid and then twisting it down. Also, I, I do not put rubber bands in my hair, so I've seen people do the rubber band method, but my hair has come too far for me to put rubber bands in it for it to break off. My own personal experience, rubber bands break my hair off. All right, so. Start at the root. This is the hair. This is my hair. So like I said, I'm just starting like a braid. Hopefully you can see. So I'm just braiding my hair a couple times. I would say I will go around like four or five times. All right, so now, this is my natural hair right here in the middle. So you're gonna separate my hair to two pieces and with the passion hair, whatever you wanna call it. Grab some gel on my fingers, I put, run a little bit on one side and I run a little bit on the other side. 
then you start to twist. So I also realized if I twist really tight with this hair, it, it still want to come apart. Like it still want to be real soft and loose. So I don't even care. It doesn't make a difference if you tight. If you twist real tight, if you twist, don't you don't want it to be too too loose the way you twist. But just enough. Because I was twisting it so hard. It was so tight. And then when I let it go, it springs back up like that. So I'm like, what doesn't make a difference to me. And just to make it a look a little neater, I like to cut this little extra piece of hair right here off. It's a little snippet. That's it. So you see how tight I was twisting and how it just unraveled? So it really doesn't make a difference to me if, you, if I twist tight or not. It's still going to unravel. For me to try to ensure that it's going to stay in place, I use some mousse, my Tresemme mousse. This is extra hole. So I already did it all over my head, but I'm just going to show you guys on this section. Woo. So I moved the whole section all the way down. Mm, I'm just throwing mousse all around the room. Grab that nigga. Okay. And this is what, if you don't want to do the mousse, I think you should definitely do this part. So this is Tresemme, the extra hole, and this is the hairspray. Ooh, so it stinks. This, so I just make sure I spray it on a nice amount on my hair. Because I feel like this is. I feel like this is really going to help the twist to stay in place and not unravel as much. So this might be a little crunchy. Your hair might feel a little crunchy when you first put this on, but it will soften up. And yes, I use a lot. And also, last step, my DIY hair growth oil. So I oil my scalp. Right. Usually when I have my protective styles and I oil my scalp like once or twice a week. It's so soothing. It feels so good. Ooh. And let me show you. I'm going to show you how long it is in the back. And that is about it. I think I said everything. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.